cannot confirm right now in front of the media and the public what that weapon is until we test it this weekend. It was recovered in Ogama at the home. A new development in the search for Kelly McWhorter. She's been missing since last weekend, and investigators believe she's dead. Her estranged husband, Stephen Higgins, who police believe is her killer, took his own life earlier this week. TV5's James Felton joins us live in Flint to tell us if investigators are any closer to finding Kelly McWhorter. James. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson says the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, but he needs the community's help. I believe we have the murder weapon, but we don't have Kelly. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson giving us an update on the search for Kelly McWhorter. He described the weapon that was recovered in Ogemaw County as the object that he believes McWhorter's estranged husband, Stephen Higgins, used to kill her. It is not a firearm. It is a blunt object, and we will follow up with more information as it comes. Swanson says Higgins gave the weapon to his friend in Ogemaw County during a surprise visit to her home on Tuesday for protection. Swanson also provided more detail on what happened when that friend found out Higgins was a wanted man. Higgins at the time was out in his truck. She came out, leveled a shotgun at him and said, you need to leave. When he left, she called 911. And that's why I want to thank the 911 Center and Algoma County Sheriff's Office because that was able to put that piece together. Swanson tells us the search in Ogoma County continues. We still have teams up at Ogoma. We did search a secondary location about four miles from the Tall Timber Trail address, the 4000 block, and uh, they walked that area and it didn't didn't show fruitful and uh, we were able to close that out. But there's other areas up there, especially going into hunting season. We're going to have a lot of people walking properties, not just Ogama, but all the way down. Swanson believes McWhorter is buried in the woods somewhere. That's why he wants anyone in them to be on the lookout. If you're walking in the woods and you see two tracks of uh, what could be the wheelbase of a 2009 Ford F-150, if you happen to see where somebody was, where they shouldn't be, if there's one thing I know about hunters and when they scope out their land, they know who's been on their property. Maybe there's a deer cam that's up there. These are the key pieces of information that we need. Swanson says this isn't a case of who done it. Instead, the question is where done it? Swanson tells us the answer will have to come from the community. This was a domestic violence turned homicide and the suspect who has the information killed himself didn't leave us any clue other than what's been left behind. Swanson tells us for now he isn't scheduling any further updates unless something major happens. Reporting live and local in Genesee County, James Belton, WNEM TV5.